up everybody, Roderick here with a quick look at third party fast charging for the iPhone 10, it's upside down, and also the iPhone 8 and 8 Plus. I don't have an 8 or 8 Plus, but I have iPhone 10 here and it's actually almost dead, so this is gonna be great, perfect timing. All right, so I ordered this from Grandstar, it was on Amazon. This cost $49.99, it is a multi-port charger, it has a USB-C port, a USB quick charge 3.0 port and then two regular USB ports and it's um, 75 watts overall the USB-C port can go up to a max of 60 watts and the fast charge port can, you know quick charge 3.0 whatever that is and then two regular ports for other stuff so you can use this to charge your laptop at quick speeds you know if you have a USB charger like for a MacBook for instance and also you can use it to charge your iPhone supposedly with fast charge and you can fast charge your Android phone at the same time, so this sounds pretty great. So, I also got these two pack of Lightning to USB-C cables, which aren't Apple branded and they aren't um, MiFi or whatever it's called, certified as far as I know, but they're braided with nylon and they look strong, so they might work, they might not, I don't know. If you go to Apple's website to look at quick charging, it says you can use a third party adapter with um, certain wattages that takes a USB-C port, or has a USB-C port, but they all they say you have to have their Apple branded USB-C to lightning cable, which is like $30, so I didn't get that. I got two pack of this one for $10 on Amazon. So hopefully it works, I'm hoping for the best. As long as it doesn't blow up my phone, I'm gonna be pretty happy, I guess. As long as it's faster than five watts, I'm good. All right, so um, let's take a look at the cables first. I'll throw the links all down below in the description so you can get them, assuming it works. So here we go, we got one and two. These are both six feet long, so they're double the length of a regular Apple cable that comes with the iPhone. Let's see, here we go. As you can see, it is nylon braided. It's black with silver tips. Look at that, let's see. Let me get you both ends. Can we get a focus on this? Okay, as you can see, one USB-C and one Lightning. Boom, just like that. Crazy, huh? Five bucks each? Sounds like a great deal. The quality looks amazing. I don't know if this is aluminum or metal or what this is, but it's got a nice hard casing on each end, and then it goes down into some hard plastic into the nylon, and it goes straight across. Now let me take a close look at the cable, because I was watching a video on how to like tell, like there's my MiFi certification process, and it has to look a certain way and stuff, so let's take a look. It actually does look really good. It looks like it is one solid piece of metal on the lightning adapter end. The golden um, pins or whatever they're called. I see, I have no idea what I'm talking about. Um, they look pretty good. They're rounded. I don't know, to me they look fine. USB-C side looks all right to me too. So I don't know, looks good, hopefully it works. So we got two of those, 10 bucks. So that's five bucks for one. So if you're doing the math, this is 49, this is $5 for one, we have to get a two pack for 10, but whatever. So why would you get a third party adapter is what you're probably asking yourself if you can just get the Apple branded one. Well, it has four ports, you can charge your phone, your Android, okay, you can charge your iPhone or your MacBook, as well as your Android phone, both with fast charge, by the way, and also two other USB devices, all in one. So $49, the cheapest quick charge, Apple adapter is $49 for the 29 watts, and then if you want the 61 watts, it's 79, and then 89 for the other one. So, this is a better deal, assuming it works, which I'm assuming the adapter will be fine. It's the cable I'm worried about, because Apple says use their cable and you can use a third party adapter. All right, so let's take a look at this box. You guys can take a quick look. I didn't really show you a close up on it. You guys could read that, some more information. There you go. This also has a 12 month warranty on the on the power brick, so I'm not worried about it as long as they honor the warranty. <laughs> so let's open this up. This is actually really heavy too, so it does feel like quality. Slides right out, and wow, here we go. Nice, okay. So this is really strong. It's, it's actually feels like metal, so this is actually really high quality. I, so far I'm recommending this based on first impressions. Inside we got the user manual, which I don't think we need. Let's see, 75 watts super high power output. The light light sensor can detect distance accurately from zero to six feet away, depending on the intensity of the light source. And it's, I'm not sure what the light, I guess it'll make the light brighter if it's in a brighter environment. So that way at night it's not too bright. The USB-C port compatibility is compatible with charging a MacBook, MacBook Pro, iPad Pro, and all USB powered devices such as cell phones, tablet, Bluetooth speaker, smartwatch, DPS, and more. 
Smart Charging IC maximizes charging efficiency up to 400% faster than conventional chargers to support Apple, Android, and many other USB powered devices. So it has smart charging so it'll give you the maximum power you can get for your device. USB-A charging ports connect to, ta it says tables, so tablets, smartphone, or other USB powered devices for charging, compatible worldwide with 100 to 240 volts. All right, it has short circuit protection, overcharge protection, overheat protection, overcurrent protection, and over discharge protection. So it sounds good, except for that typo. That's kind of getting me a little worried. <laughs> you know, when you see a typo, you know something's up. It has a lifetime technical support, 12 month warranty, any problems, contact them directly. So it sounds good, except for that typo. It feels good. And this is the cable it comes with. Nice, thick cable. Let me unwrap this thing. All right, it's got some nice length to it too, so you can put it down and around your table, throw it on the other side. So, so far, this is actually really good quality. It's just that typo. <laughs> All right, now, here's the main event. Let's unwrap this. See, they actually, this actually reminds me of Apple packaging. It has like this little plastic wrap on it that just peels off. So, I'm impressed. All right, nice. It's what, like matte black. Here you guys could take a look at the voltages and whatnot. On this side, we have the ports. As you can see, USB-C PD, which is what it says on Apple's website. The orange is the Quick Charge 3.0, and the two blue are regular USB ports for charging. As you can see, you got the Grand Star branding here, and it's all blank on that side. Yes, you guys, I'm liking it so far. So, what we gotta do now, let's plug this in. See, nice and solid, it feels good. Let's remove this. All right, we got it plugged in, and now, as you can see, the blue light is illuminating. Hope you can see that. It's illuminating right here. <laughs> so, now the moment of truth. Will this blow off my $1,300 iPhone 10, or will it work? The cable's what I'm worried about. All right, so now we're gonna get to the test. We have an LG G5 here, which I drained down to 83%. We're just gonna see if it says fast charging when I plug it in. Then we have the iPhone 10, which I have down to 8%. So we're gonna see how fast this will charge from 8% in 30 minutes. So according to Apple, it should charge up to 50% in 30 minutes. So since it's at 8%, it might be a little less because you know it's from zero to 50 as far as I know, I don't know. So first we're gonna plug in quick charge and see how this goes. It says fast charging. Okay, we're good to go on that. Now the problem that I'm worried about is this cable for lightning to USB-C. I don't know if this will actually work. The adapter I'm pretty sure works because it's quick charging, but this, I don't know, we'll see. I'm not even sure if you can quick charge both at the same time, but I'm assuming you could. So it is charging now. We are at 8%. So in 30 minutes, we'll check back. All right, moment of truth. Let's see. LG G5 is at 100% as of 30 minutes, which it didn't really have to go up too high, but it's there. Now the iPhone, what is it at? It started at 7, 8, or 9%. I think it was 9, I'm not sure, I don't remember. <laughs> Anyways, whatever, let's see. We are currently at 36%. So it only went up 26%. So I'm assuming it's the cable's fault, because the cable isn't MiFi certified and maybe it's not able to send through such a fast current to get this up to 50% because it's supposed to go from 0 to 50 in 30 minutes. It's only gone from like 9 to 36. That's less than 30%. But I think that's faster than if you just use the regular 5 watt adapter that came with it. So. I'm assuming the brick is good, or the adapter, whatever, is good. So I'd recommend that because you could charge quick charge on your Android if you happen to have both. <laughs> quick charge on your iPhone and then plug in two other things. But you might need to get the actual Apple branded USB-C to lightning cable to get the full quick charge power. Yeah. Man, that's a bummer. Maybe there's a thing where it has to be at zero. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I'd recommend the adapter, not the cable. So if you want to get any of these, links are down below in the description. Make sure you guys give this video a thumbs up. Hit the red subscribe button for more. Make sure you guys comment down below and let me know what you guys think. Maybe you guys had different results. If you got a different cable or something, let me know. Let me know what your experiences are. Till next time, I'm Roderick. I'm out. I'll catch y'all later. Y'all should know my name. I'm a big shot. The plan is to get guap with every tip.
TikTok on my wristwatch. Watch. A second from 